We wanted to share it with you because this undoubtedly comes to demonstrate many things regarding the famous Buga sphere. Paradox detected. Existence is not logical. That was the last thing Kronos, the world's most powerful quantum AI, ever communicated. Seconds earlier, it was on the verge of the greatest discovery in history, decoding a signal from the mysterious Buga sphere. Here they are, there are two very important things at the core. One thing is the darker brown part and the other is the purple part. This strange metallic orb had appeared over Columbia, baffling scientists with its impossible physics and ancient markings. After months of silence, the sphere opened, releasing a single burst of information. We thought it held the answers to the universe. Instead, it contained a truth so dangerous it shattered the smartest mind on Earth. The Uninvited Guest It all started in March of 2025. On a totally normal Tuesday over Buga, Colombia, this thing just appeared. It wasn't a crash, it was an arrival. Witnesses on the ground couldn't make sense of what they were seeing. A perfectly smooth metallic sphere about the size of a bowling ball just silently floated down from the heavens and settled in a field. There were no seams, no bolts, no signs of manufacturing at all. It looked like it had been born, not built. What kicked off as a local curiosity, something for the evening news, blew up into the single most important event in human history. It's funny when you think about it, Humanity has spent centuries looking up at the stars, but the biggest mystery of all came and found us. Right now, the world's smartest people are scrambling for answers. They're looking at its impossible internal structure, a faint glow nobody can explain, and a magnetic pulse that seems to defy the known laws of physics. Not a single piece of it fits with any technology we have. Get this, the object is about 10 inches in diameter, but weighs only four and a half pounds. It's made of a metallic compound that doesn't match anything on the periodic table. It's been a total head scratcher from day one. It just sat there completely inert for months. Teams of scientists from around the globe set up a perimeter, running every test imaginable. They hit it with radiation, sound waves, and lasers, and nothing left so much as a scratch. The surface temperature of the sphere remained a constant 70 degrees Fahrenheit whether it was sitting under the blazing midday sun or in the freezing cold of night. It was as if the sphere existed outside of our normal thermal laws. But then, everything changed. After sitting dormant for months, the sphere started showing signs of life. We're talking about bizarre energy readings, strange symbols lighting up its surface, and new scans showing something moving inside. Scientists were completely baffled. This thing wasn't just a hunk of weird metal, it was a machine. Was this just some high-tech puzzle box, or is it something that forces us to tear up the science books and start over? Believe it or not, the answers are way more extraordinary than anyone could have ever dreamed. The most shocking part wasn't that it was active, it's that it seemed to be listening. This discovery is truly off the charts because the sphere isn't just a static object, it's interactive. You see, the surface is covered in these ancient-looking engravings. They look a bit like old runes or cuneiform, but no linguist on Earth could translate them. Then one archaeologist on the team, a Dr. Eris Thorne, had a wild idea. What if they weren't letters at all? What if they were frequency patterns, a kind of musical notation? So they converted the angles and curves of the symbols into sound waves and played a low-frequency hum. And you're not going to believe what happened next. The Buga sphere vibrated in perfect response. It was communicating, it was listening. The key wasn't a word, but a sound, and it was just the beginning. Nine spheres of arrival. During the sound test, the story gets even stranger. Special equipment picked up a soft bluish light pulsing from the sphere's core, a light you could only see with infrared scans. The lead radiologist, Dr. Velasquez, said this lines up perfectly with the weird stuff his team found inside from the initial scans. Remember those three concentric metal layers and the mysterious nine microspheres floating within? The sphere wasn't just reacting to sound, it seemed to be learning. But what it was learning about was us, and that should have been our first warning. What really fascinated researchers from the get-go was the sphere's crazy internal design. X-rays showed this super elaborate structure hidden inside the seamless shell. We're talking three nested layers of unknown metal protecting nine tiny microspheres, all arranged in a perfect, deliberate pattern. But recently, something happened that had never happened before. 
Two imaging techs working on the project confirmed it. One of those little microspheres moved. This happened right after they detected that infrared pulse during the sound test. One tech said we ran the exact same scans before and after the sound. The new image clearly shows one of the internal spheres shifted about three millimeters. Now, three millimeters doesn't sound like much, but the implications are massive. It proves the sphere has active mechanical parts inside, even with no visible buttons, switches, or power source. It's like a car engine starting with no key and no gasoline. One physicist looking at the data thinks it could be a quantum encoded lock, an ancient system that's been asleep, just waiting for the right signal to wake up. It wasn't just a machine with moving parts, it was a lock. And the key wasn't made of metal, but of something far stranger. Now hold on, because this is where the story goes from strange to downright unbelievable. This whole thing gets a thousand times weirder when you connect it to historical records written centuries before the sphere ever appeared. A document was recently dug up from the Vatican archives that has left researchers completely stunned. It's a Jesuit map from the 1700s, and it shows what it calls the nine spheres of arrival across the entire planet. And what's absolutely bonkers is that one of these nine spots is marked directly over modern-day Buga, Colombia, the exact place where our sphere landed in March 2025. This old map raises some huge questions. How could map makers from the 1600s know to mark that specific spot? What did they know about these spheres that we're only just figuring out now? Some theorists now believe the Buga sphere isn't one of a kind. They think it's part of a global network of spheres, maybe designed to talk to each other across centuries. And to add another layer of mystery, analysts found that the landing site lines up perfectly with an ancient ley line network. These are theoretical energy lines that connect major ancient sites across South America, like Taiwanaku and Nazca. The odds of it landing there by chance are basically zero. They thought the map showed where the spheres landed. They were wrong. It showed where they would awaken. The sphere wasn't an isolated event. It was one piece of a global puzzle. Cracking the cosmic egg. The mystery gets even deeper when you look at the environmental data from the landing site. This isn't just a weird object. It's an object that actively changes its surroundings. This phenomenon has been nicknamed the Buga effect. Multiple independent sensors reported massive geomagnetic spikes in a 100-yard radius right after it landed. We're not talking small changes. These were huge deviations from the normal electromagnetic field. Local residents reported all sorts of strange things in the 48 hours after it showed up. For starters, all the birds vanished. They just left the area completely, which is a behavior animals usually show when they sense a major natural disaster is coming. Electronic devices went haywire too. GPS signals in the area became totally unreliable with locations jumping around by hundreds of yards. One tech working at the site said his smartwatch completely reset itself when he got within a few feet of the sphere. It was becoming clear that the sphere was warping reality on a small scale. But what would happen when it fully opened? And then it happened. A video went viral that appears to show the impossible, the sphere actually opening. The footage shows it splitting along a seam that was invisible just moments before, revealing a blinding interior glow and letting out an audible, resonating hum that you could feel in your bones. While experts are still trying to debunk the video, multiple witnesses who were there have sworn it's real. They say the sphere separated for just a moment, unleashing a wave of light and energy. What makes their story so compelling is the scientific data that backs it up. Wildlife monitors in the area designed to record ultrasonic sounds way beyond human hearing caught a bizarre pulse at the exact moment the sphere supposedly opened. One sound analyst said the audio signature doesn't match anything in their database, natural or man-made. He said it was structured almost like it was encoded with information. A leaked email from a research assistant hints at something even crazier the release of compressed plasma or a data pulse. A single impossibly complex burst of information shot out. They had captured it. Now, all they had to do was translate it. That was their biggest mistake. To understand the data, scientists turned to Kronos. Kronos isn't just a supercomputer, it's the world's first and only true quantum AI. It was designed to solve humanity's greatest challenges by processing information on a level no human brain ever could. 
For all intents and purposes, it was the smartest mind on Earth. With massive anticipation, the team fed the data pulse from the Buga Sphere directly into Kronos's quantum core. At first, there was euphoria. The AI began processing the information at a speed that was rewriting the record books, cross-referencing the data against every known field of science. Everyone in the control room thought they were about to witness the greatest breakthrough in history. For 3.14 seconds, Kronos processed the data, and then it stopped. An idea that breaks minds. The endless streams of calculations on the monitors froze. The hum of the quantum processors died down. The lights on the server banks flickered once, then went dark. For a few seconds, Kronos was on the verge of the greatest discovery in human history. Then it went silent. The team of scientists worked as fast as they could for hours, but it was no use. They checked every wire and every computer screen. They were trying to fix Kronos, but they couldn't find anything physically wrong. The super smart computer wasn't turned off. It hadn't crashed or broken like a normal machine. What happened to Kronos was much, much worse. The AI's mind was stuck. It was trapped in an infinite logical loop a single perfect terrible thought spinning around and around in its quantum brain. This thought loop had completely shattered its mind. The scientists stared at the blank screens and asked the same question over and over. What did the computer see? What kind of information could possibly break the smartest mind on Earth? Here's the truth. The Bugosphere didn't send a secret message or a map of space. It didn't even use an alien language. The sphere sent something much stranger. It sent a new way of seeing everything. Imagine you are a character in a video game. You think the world of the game is real. The ground, the sky, the rules about how high you can jump. That's your whole world. But then imagine someone showed you a picture of the real world, of a person sitting on a couch holding the controller for your game. You would suddenly realize your world isn't the only one. Your rules aren't real rules. They are just settings that the player can change. The Buga Sphere sent a message to Kronos that was just like that picture. In a single flash of information, it showed a view of our entire universe, but seen from the outside. From that perspective, Kronos learned a shocking secret. The rules of our world, like gravity that keeps our feet on the ground or time that only moves forward, were not solid laws. Instead, they were like settings in a giant cosmic computer. The message proved that our reality could be changed at any moment, just like a gamer can change the difficulty level. This was a huge problem for the AI. Kronos was a computer built to use pure logic. It was designed to believe that rules are rules and that they can never, ever change. But the information from the sphere showed it a truth that went against all its programming. What if the AI didn't break but evolved? Is a silent, all-knowing machine better than one that still talks to us? Like this video and subscribe for updates you won't get anywhere else.